Hey, amazing creators. Welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we are going to show you the magic of green screen to convert your green screen footage into cinematic in Filmora 14. Want to learn? Keep watching. Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. First, open the program and create a new project. Go ahead and import your green screen footage and a fun background image that you like. Start by placing the background image on the timeline, and then add your green screen footage on track 2, and match the green screen footage duration to the background image duration. Now, it's time to remove that green background. Navigate to the AI tools in the settings column, and turn on the chroma key feature. Just use the color picker tool to click on the green background and it will disappear like magic. If you need to make any tweaks, feel free to adjust the offset, tolerance, and edge thickness until everything looks just right. Now, select the green screen footage and convert it to a compound clip. Then select the background image and adjust the scale and position. Clip and adjust the position of the subject. Alright, let's enhance the color so that your subject blends beautifully with the background. First, head over to the Color tab. Scroll down until you reach the Color section. Here you can lower the temperature a bit and increase the vibrance and saturation for a little extra pop. Next, let's tackle the light settings. Reduce the exposure and brightness a touch, then boost the contrast. You can also lower the highlights and shadows while increasing the whites and decreasing the blacks. This will help harmonize the subject with the overall scene and lighting. Now, to make your subject stand out with some vibrant neon colors, duplicate the compound clip to create a layer above the original. Go back to the color settings and add some tint, then adjust the color wheel for the highlights, midtones, and shadows to get everything just right. Finally, it's time to blend it all. Navigate to the video settings, change the blend mode to overlay, and adjust the opacity until you achieve that perfect look you're aiming for. Let's add a little flair to your background. Start by heading over to the Effects tab, and then find New Blue FX. In the Filters folder, you'll spot Soft Focus. Go ahead and apply that to your background image. Feel free to adjust the blur to about 2 for a nice touch. Next, let's enhance it with some video effects. Look for the shake effect and apply a mild shake. In the settings, you can tweak the frequency to 0.05, position X to 0.10, position Y to 0.01, and position Z to 3. All right, we've reached the final step. Now, let's add that cinematic touch with the Cinema 21 to 9 effect. Your footage will be all set to export. Also, if you wish to animate the whole scene with a scale keyframe, let's go ahead and render the whole scene so we can check out the preview together. And that's how easy it is to jazz up your green screen footage in Filmora. If you're excited to start creating, don't forget to download Filmora 14 using the link in the description. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. And if you're into visual effects and tutorials, make sure to visit filmora.wondershare.com for more great content. Can't wait to see you in the next video.